Boeing's 777X crisis just took a terrifying turn. A new internal update reveals the program's most expensive problem isn't the airframe or even certification, but it's the engine. The GE9X, the world's largest turbofan, has triggered a chain reaction of failures that could threaten the jet's future. And the latest discovery may be the worst one yet. The Boeing 777X was launched in 2013 as an evolution of the successful 777 family. It promised enhanced fuel efficiency, an updated composite wing design with folding wingtips, and a new generation of engines. GE Aerospace developed the GE9X exclusively for the 777X. The engine features 16 carbon fiber composite fan blades housed in a 134-inch diameter case. It is rated at 110,000 pounds of thrust. GE marketed it as the most fuel-efficient engine the company had ever produced, promising 10% better fuel burn compared to the GE 9115B. But the GE 9X ran into trouble almost immediately. The first flight with the GE 9X had been scheduled for February 2018. GE delayed it because of problems with the high-pressure compressor and durability issues. Engineers discovered that stator vanes in the second stage of the 11-stage high-pressure compressor were deteriorating faster than expected. Exhaust gas temperatures exceeded intended limits. The component was failing prematurely. GE recalled four of its eight compliance engines from Boeing for redesign. The stator vane problem required a mechanical fix. Ted Ingling, GE Aviation's GE9X program manager, later stated, It is solved. It is fixed and it's fixed robustly. It is better to have found it in the factory than find it in the field. The high-pressure compressor stator redesign delayed engine certification into autumn 2019. This pushed the 777X first flight from late 2019 to January 2020. The Boeing 7779 finally took off on January 25, 2020, flying for 3 hours and 52 minutes before landing at Boeing Field. Then more problems emerged. In November 2022, Boeing halted 7779 flight testing after a GE9X engine issue was discovered during a borescope inspection. The specific engine involved was the highest time test engine, with over 1,700 hours of runtime and more than 2,600 flight cycles. GE stated that during testing runs, a temperature alert was observed and the operator shut the engine down normally. Boeing stated at the time, We are supporting GE Aerospace as they assess a recent GE9X engine issue and will resume airplane testing once their thorough process and appropriate actions are complete. Safety is our top priority. Emirates President Tim Clark expressed concern about the implications. He commented, On December 6th, we get the information about whether the engine is good to go. In other words, was it a batch issue? or an issue with the whole design of the engine. That affects the ability to get the flight test program going. GE determined that a combustor liner problem had caused the issue. The company corrected it before flight testing resumed in 2024. But the troubles did not end there. In August 2024, Boeing grounded its entire 777X test fleet after discovering a severed thrust link during routine post-flight inspection. The issue was found on Boeing's third 777-9 test aircraft, WH-003, after it completed a 5-hour, 31-minute flight from Kona Airport in Hawaii on August 16. Subsequent inspections on other 777-9 test aircraft revealed cracks in the thrust link structure across the fleet. Boeing confirmed, During scheduled maintenance, we identified a component that did not perform as designed. Our team is replacing the part and capturing any learnings from the component and will resume flight testing when ready. The thrust links are heavy titanium components that transfer loads between the GE9X engine and the wing structure. Each engine has two thrust links for redundancy. Engineers determined that unintentional vibration caused the cracks. All four 777X test aircraft were grounded for four months. Boeing redesigned the thrust links entirely. The company installed temporary fixes and conducted extensive ground testing before resuming certification flights in mid-January 2025. Aviation Week reported that Boeing plans to install the final redesigned thrust links during summer 2025 as part of a broader package of design improvements. 
The financial impact has been severe. Boeing's Q3 2025 earnings report revealed a net loss of $5.3 billion. The company reported an adjusted loss per share of $7.47, which missed the consensus estimate of $3.85 per share by nearly 94%. The primary cause was a one-time charge of $4.9 billion linked directly to the 777X certification delays. CEO Kelly Ortberg told analysts the charge was large because he does not want this to be a continuous quarterly issue for us. He acknowledged the program is in a reach-forward loss position, meaning Boeing will not recover its development costs across the first 500 aircraft it builds and sells. The 777X program has now accumulated more than $15 billion in total charges. The aircraft was initially supposed to enter service in 2020, with an unofficial goal of December 2019. It is now slated for commercial service in 2027. That is a seven-year delay. Emirates is the largest customer for the 777X, with 205 aircraft on order. Qatar Airways holds 124 orders. Lufthansa is expected to be the first airline in the world to receive the 777X once certification is complete. These airlines have been forced to retrofit older aircraft and adjust fleet plans because of the delays. Boeing currently has 26 777 aircraft built. Four are being used for the test campaign. The remaining 22 sit in storage at Seattle facilities, waiting for certification that keeps slipping further into the future. The GE-9X received its FAA type certificate on September 25, 2020, after eight test engines completed 8,000 cycles and 5,000 hours of running. But post-certification issues continue to emerge during 777X flight testing, forcing repeated groundings and redesigns. Boeing's test fleet has logged more than 1,200 flights and 3,500 flight hours across various regions and climate conditions. The FAA has demanded comprehensive peer reviews of supplier data and additional validation following the 777 MAX certification failures. Every GE9X issue that surfaces triggers new certification requirements and extends the timeline. The 777X was supposed to be Boeing's comeback, but the program was just hit with yet another blow and this time it pushes its already massive problems into even darker territory. The total losses have now exceeded $15 billion. 26 aircraft sit in storage at Seattle Payne Field, waiting for a certification that keeps slipping further away. And now a new complication has emerged, raising questions no one at Boeing seems ready to answer. The Boeing 777X was introduced in November 2013 at the Dubai Air Show as the successor to the highly successful 777 family. Boeing designed it to become the world's largest and most efficient twin-engine jet. It features composite wings with a 71.8-meter wingspan, the longest of any commercial aircraft. It carries the GE-9X engines, the biggest turbofan engines ever fitted to a civilian airliner. The cabin can accommodate up to 426 passengers. List prices range from $410 million to $442 million. The aircraft was supposed to enter service in 2020. That did not happen. Certification efforts began in September 2019 but halted almost immediately. During an extreme pressurization test conducted in the hangar under FAA oversight, an aircraft door blew off. Boeing paused testing, investigated and had to reinforce the structure. Test flights eventually started in January 2020. They were suspended again in December due to flight control system flaws. A 2020 uncommanded pitch event during testing increased FAA scrutiny and pushed delivery estimates toward 2023. A 2022 reassessment shifted entry into service to 2025. Boeing paused much of the 777X production line through 2022 and 2023, incurring approximately $1.5 billion in added costs. In August 2024, Boeing discovered another problem. Engineers found damage in the thrust link, a component connecting the GE-9X engine to the wing structure. The issue was first spotted on test aircraft WH-003 after a flight in Hawaii, 
a post-flight airframe inspection revealed cracks in a primary pylon structural component. Boeing grounded the entire test fleet and ordered inspections of all test aircraft. Similar issues appeared on two other planes. Flight testing was suspended for five months. Boeing redesigned the thrust links and resumed testing in January 2025. By late August 2025, five test aircraft had accumulated 4,100 flight hours across extreme conditions in Arizona heat and Alaska snow. The 777X test program has completed over 1,400 flights. Boeing conducted more than 4,000 flight test hours, more than twice the hours of a typical certification program. It was not enough. In September 2025, CEO Kelly Ortberg confirmed at a Morgan Stanley conference that the certification process was falling behind schedule. He stated there was a mountain of work remaining to complete the process. He noted that no new technical problems had been found, but even a minor schedule delay on the 777 program has significant financial impact. In October 2025, Boeing announced the first delivery would not happen until 2027, pushing back the timeline by another full year. The company took a $4.9 billion charge in its third quarter results. Boeing posted an adjusted loss of $7.47 per share for the quarter compared to analysts' expectations of a $4.59 loss. The charge brought total program losses to over $15 billion. Richard Abulafia, Managing Director of Aerodynamic Advisory, said the charge was more than the $2 billion to $4 billion he expected. While he does not expect the charge to be financially crippling to Boeing, he stated it raises questions about any more surprises to come. The airlines are feeling the impact. Emirates is the largest customer for the 777X, with 270 aircraft on order. Emirates President Tim Clark said he planned a serious conversation with Boeing as he failed to see Boeing providing a meaningful forecasted delivery date. The airline had expected its first 777 by the end of 2025 and had already prepared interiors and cabin fittings. Emirates is now investing $5 billion to retrofit older aircraft and extend their operational life. It has also ordered 65 Airbus A35900 as a temporary measure to maintain capacity until the 777X arrives. Qatar Airways has 124 aircraft on order. Lufthansa was supposed to be the launch customer receiving the first aircraft. That delivery has now been pushed to 2027. The German airline cannot include the 777 in its flight schedules until then. Other key customers include British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Etihad Airways, Singapore Airlines and All Nippon Airways. Boeing removed 33 777X orders from its books in October 2025 after shifting them into an accounting category linked to certification delays and shifting delivery timelines. The 777X backlog dropped to 473 jets. The FAA has tightened its oversight since the 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people. Certification requirements have become more demanding. The folding wingtips are a completely new feature for airliners. The FAA issued special conditions requiring Boeing to prove the tips stay locked in 65 knot gusts, prove crosswind handling works with tips raised, and prove all failure modes would be benign. Brake certification tests in Oklahoma took 63 days, more than double the original forecast and required 117 new wheels for hard-braking scenarios. Future testing includes simulating ice formations on wings and evaluating braking on wet runways. Airbus is taking advantage of Boeing's delays. The A350-1000 continues gaining traction, with airlines accelerating orders to fill wide-body shortages. Airbus has raised its maximum capacity to 480 seats and is studying a stretched A350-2000. Qantas selected the A350-1000 for Project Sunrise, while Air Europa signed an OMOU for 40 A350-900s at the 2025 Dubai Air Show. Etihad added seven A350-1000s to its backlog. Boeing still secured major business. Emirates ordered 65 more 777-9s worth $38 billion, raising its 777X backlog to 270 aircraft. Boeing now holds 565 total 777X orders from 12 customers, with first delivery targeted for 2027. But the 777X is seven years late and has accumulated $15 to $17 billion in losses. 26 aircraft are built, four in testing, and 22 stored in Seattle. 
FAA oversight remains heavy as Boeing increases testing through 2026. With wide body supply critically tight, the 777X remains Boeing's key recovery program if it stays on track.